Welcome back to more Oddworld New and Tasty. So, in the last part, we uh, finished uh, venturing through the deserts of the Scrabbanian Temple. Well, not, no, not the Scrabbanian Temple, just the deserts of Scrabbania. Once again, thanks to the help of our good buddy Elam, and now we are entering the Scrabbanian Temple to, in, in, with our goal to, uh, once again, ignite the holy fires, and then to complete our, our last spiritual trial to get at our last hand scar. But first and foremost, um, we gotta sneak past by this slig only for a moment so that we can use him as a means of getting through this secret room to save more of our Mudokan brethren. Also, we have a Brandon. Yeah, so in the oh. last part, you, you, in the last part, you may have noticed that we did lose a Brandon temporarily, but got a BJ. But now we have both a BJ and a Brandon back. So yes, the Spiffy Needle crew is back at it again, along with our good guest, always great returning guest, Brian. So here we go. The gang's all here once again. And for now. now for the slaughter. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Oh, of course. So um. Something interesting that I did discover upon uh, doing this secret level um, in the remake as opposed to the original. So again, like, uh, keep in mind, um, with the original game, it went from one static screen to the next, and it and it would like slide, it would slideshow transition and transition from one screen to the next. Unlike in the remake, where the camera continuously pans to your current location from one area to the next. Now, with that in mind, um, in the original game, you would have to stand in one spot nearly off-screen just so that you can easily take out all of the slogs that would come out at each of those slog huts. Now, here I am thinking, in the remake, that would not be the case because, you know, the camera is obviously handled in a much different fashion compared to the original. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll just stand in the middle of these two slog huts and then just go back and forth and try to take down the slogs from there. That did not work. What you just saw there was basically how you would handle, well, how I would handle that little challenge in the original. Yeah, you basically stand in one particular spot where it would activate all both of those slog huts. You stand in that one spot and just take out the slogs like how you would in the original. And considering how fast these slags are when whipping out their guns and just firing at least just one single shot, it just makes it even more easy to take out those logs. So yeah, that was uh, quite an interesting uh, tidbit that I- Ow! Ow! My, sorry. That's ah, unfortunate. Ooh, so sorry. close! <laughs> thank, thank goodness for quick saves. <laughs> Many happen. have failed the scraps test, as you saw before. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen here, in part 10 of New and Tasty. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, in case if you've forgotten, Scrabs are known for being more territorial. Oh, why not? They don't just go after prey for the sake of going after them. It all depends on who's invading their territory. Again, they could very well attack other Scrabs. So, again, it's all about themselves and their territory, that's all. I saw it at first! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, all right, so yeah, let's have a look at this map here. So, um, basically the first flintlock switch uh, should be um, right next to the JC Pennies, but if we go down to the third floor, then um, we have another set of uh, flintlock switches right next to the GameStop, and oh, there's one right next to um, Macy's as well. Oof. It's gotta take a little bit of time to uh, get all those flip-lock switches, methinks. We Not stopped by McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> we have food at the house, we BJ. Have I McDonald's hate this family. At home, Abe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this family. I wish I was never born. <laughs> uh, although it's like, go by the JC Penny. I just imagine Abe is just like, come on, Abe needs a new pair of stitches. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm gonna run away and never come back. And then five seconds later, it gets eaten. No, Abe, why? Your mother gave you those stitches when you were a baby. 
<laughs> that was uh I outgrew him. That's uh for those that don't know, um that's actually some uh that's some lore in the Audible universe in regards to Abe and the Budokan Queen. Basically Abe's mother. I know I know some people didn't exactly catch that um upon our initial re our initial reaction to um the PlayStation 5 reveal trailer that was shown off um during the uh, PlayStation 5 event, which believe it or not, as of this recording, it has been just about a month and a half since they since uh, Sony did that event. And yeah, and yeah, thinking about it now, it still makes me wonder, like the reasoning why. Okay, putting aside the possibility that oh, oh, st oh, of course Stitch, of course Stitch Lips over here would get rid of the stitches because they're uncomfortable. Yeah, putting aside that, there has to be another reason why, as shown in the PlayStation 5 reveal trailer, that we briefly saw Abe, you know, try to cut off those stitches. There has to be a reason why. Because, again, the reason why Abe had stitches on from the get-go was because when he was a baby, Abe was essentially a massive crybaby. And the Bagad Cartel, the bad guys, pretty much had enough with all of the commotion that Abe was making because of his non-stop crying. And it got to a point where the Bagad Cartel was like, okay, if this baby does not shut up, we're gonna take him out. We are we are getting rid of this baby. And the Bada and the Budaki Queen was not having any of that. So to prevent Abe from being taken out by the Bagad Cartel as a baby. That's where the stitches come into play. And yet and yes, the stitches did keep his mouth shut for a while, but I mean, Brian, you're not exactly off base. He did in a way kind of outgrew them in a way, which is God why damn it. which is which is I mean, I mean, which is why he is able to speak just fine even with the stitches on. You know, I, I feel like I don't even have to play games anymore. I already know what happens. Wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't make any sense. Right? How, when the stitches are put on him as a baby, he should have been, what, did he shrink? Because uh, how, how would the stitches get bigger for him to be able to open his mouth again if they were put onto him as a baby? It, it would be similar to how you outgrow your clothes, though, right? Yes, yeah, your yeah, clothes like you stretch shrink. Them out. So the stitches should have shrank on his mouth, making it even harder for him to be able to open his mouth. No, 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 no. What yeah, I mean it, is, the, like, the, you, the you, know, you know how loosened up is the thing. Yeah, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, you know how sometimes you wear they, clothes. They stretch and... out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's, they, they, they don't like just shrink when, as you wear clothes. Sometimes the clothes they, that you wear they, as you grow up they, they stretch they get, out. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. They get stretched out. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. They get they they get they got loosened and stretched out over time. So that's why. So 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 yeah so yeah let's uh let's simmer down a little bit all right. <laughs> also, what you're saying is the cartel is effectively Broly. <laughs> wait wait. <laughs> I'm legendary super Saiyan Abe. So, oh oh jeez, it's like oh, it's like oh man, it's like. Wait, oh! <laughs> oh god, okay, well, Brandon, when you put it like that, you're not technically wrong? <laughs> the only difference here is, like, no, there is no such thing as, like, a legendary Super Gluckin. There as far is, as we know. There is no such thing as that. As far as we know. <laughs> there, there, is, there, is, there, is, there is none. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. The and, way you just oh, yeah, tumbled over far, and tripped yeah. as you were about to. Yeah, and I know for a fact there is no such thing. So that saying is irrelevant. Well, I mean, there's a new game coming out, isn't there? Yes, but there, but there is no legendary Super Gluckin in the game. How do you know, dude? It's a reimagining of Abe's Exodus. If you played Abe's Exodus, you already know for a fact that there is no such thing as that. All right. He's messing with you. Oh, I know. <laughs> All 
Alright, as, as I possess the bells be, to be play well, the song, well, we're words at, come we're, to me. We're in Brimstar, it looks like. Wait. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, with, uh, what was it? That uh, rock in the background? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it kind of does, actually. <laughs> that, yeah, look, look that is a fair point. Random thing in the background of the, of, of the Brimstar Metroid stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. That is a fair point. Now, all we need now are some Metroids. Off the final destination. Well, no, whenever, they're whenever not we Metroids. Eventually... <laughs> they're called Samus's, duh. This, this what, game's wait. universe and that game's universe have nothing in common. Oh no! Oh, no. Three, three, oh, three, 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 I, I think I think I think your divine cell phone's kind of acting a little odd. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, speaking. Oh, she's she's trying to call back. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little... well, I, I had temporary in Hades. Oh yes, hello. This is Veridi. Uh, I hear you were talking shit. <laughs> I'm going to need to ask you to stop it before I throw a reset bomb in your face and wipe out you and your entire race. <laughs> You don't no. want to. You don't even want to see what she does to atheists. No, don't throw a reset bomb. We're almost done with the video. <laughs> no. Yeah, we. Yeah, this is the, yeah, we're already on take two. I don't feel like doing another take three. <laughs> <laughs> third time's the charm. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So with that. We are essentially halfway through the Scrabanian Temple. So join us next time as we take on the rest of the rooms in the Scrabanian Temple to hit to ignite the holy fires and we can get our, our last hand scar. So uh see you guys then.